All right, so I know that was a little bit long. That's a whole little practice track that you can download um, from the link right below the video here. What I want to show you about in this lesson here is um, all about playing, um, playing off the eighth notes, either playing them a little bit earlier or playing them a little bit late. And I'm not talking about rushing the beat or dragging the beat. What I'm talking about is actually playing on the eighth note pickup to the downbeat or the eighth note after the downbeat. So that would be... We're just talking about a straight 4-4 four, four beat here, just counting it 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you may have learned, if you've got the uh, uh, beginner's DVD where I go through all the, the basic rhythm stuff, um, you're just counting, uh, strumming down on the 1, and then the and you're strumming up, on the 2 down again, and up, and so, so on and so forth. So it's um, like just on the G chord, 1 and 2 and 3. On the DVD, I go over a whole bunch of different patterns that you can learn to um, accompany with strumming like that. What I'm talking about here is where we're placing the main accents or where the, the uh, first hit of your chord in your guitar part is compared to where the other beat is. Now, when I played it very straight, um, called straight, I'm just playing on, uh, playing on the one because we're, we've got uh, one chord per bar here. I'm playing a D. Playing a C as a C9 there, you can also play a C like this. I think I did it once in a while. And then a G for two bars. G, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the straightest variation, and that's kind of as a beginner on guitar, something you, you tend to jump for and, and do, first of all, is just try to get those downbeats, get your timing down, and that's the right thing to do, the right place to start. What you'll find is you may wind up, you know, in a band context, however, you, you kind of don't hear yourself. You're fighting a lot of traffic on the downbeats, you know, the bass player and the drummer are hitting hard on those downbeats, and your guitar can kind of go under in the mix. Now, uh, you know, one of the experts on playing these cool um, off-hit guitar parts is really Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. Most of his rhythm parts had accents on these eighth note offbeats. So if you dig that kind of rock and roll playing or just uh, a good lively strumming, this is a good place to start. Let's look at relaxing the feel of the guitar part by playing now on the um, and, so the eighth note upbeat after the one. So that would be, you'd count like this, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, two, three, four, one, and 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 two, three, four. Now I'm doing this very exaggerated here. I'm, I'm playing the, uh, the accented beat very hard and the rest of it I'm just barely touching the strings right now just to make sure you get a sense of how this is being counted. All right. <clears throat> Let's just go over that slowly again. Um, you're going to be strumming on those upbeats. That's the, the best way to do it. Um, you don't want to go one and two, three, four, one and two. You, you really want to be flowing the whole time. One and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two. So I'm getting those chords on the upbeat strum. Something cool, too, about playing those upbeat strums is that you actually are hitting the high strings first. So that's the leading edge of the chord, is the high strings, which gives it a nice clarity. So that's another way to get this to jump out um, within the context of bass and drums and maybe even some organ or something else that's going on there. It's going to make your guitar stand out without having to turn it up, you know. You're going to fit nicely into the mix this way. So just practice with me a little bit. We're just doing D to C to G two times. And I'm just going to count it in, and we're going to play on the upbeats now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and 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 two, three, four. Okay? So you can back that up there. I put a little time marker below the video if you want to practice that a couple times. So in the example, then I also went back, you know, so you have a comparison starting point. I always went back to the straight version. So again, one, two, three, four, 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 one. All right, so 
that's just straight on the downbeats. Now this one's a little trickier to count. It feels like you're jumping in ahead of the beat, but you want to be doing it in a relaxed way, so you're just doing it on the proper upstrokes. And this is to play now on the four ends. You're going to actually lead. The guitar chord is going to be coming in before um, the bass note gets there to each chord. So it creates a sense of anticipation, and this is also a great way to liven up a guitar part. And you can play with these. The, the one coming in after the downbeat is going to sound a lot more relaxed um, than, than playing on the, the straight beat. The straight beat tends to kind of disappear or, or just sound very in the pocket. Now this one is going to kind of jump out and force the guitar into the face of the listener, okay? And we're going to be playing on the four and. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. Upbeats are coming in, uh, the, the chords are coming in on the upbeat before the one, and it gives it sort of a, a jumpy kind of sound. And uh, there's nothing off time about that, there's actually nothing jumpy or rushed about it. You want to just be playing in the groove and just get those accents of the chords on there, um, on these, these different beats. So um, I don't need to go on too much more about this. Download the, uh, the practice track and then watch this video again and practice each individual thing that I was telling you about, um, about practicing playing, first of all, right on the downbeat, just playing the chords again, D, C, 9, or, or C, regular C, and to G, and G again, all right? And then practice the one where you're doing one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. And then also practice uh, playing through it a bunch of times, doing the four and one, two, three, four and one. And this will work for any rhythm guitar part that you're doing, um, no matter what the chords are, no matter where you are. If you just have something with some simple uh, power chords, the same thing would be here with these. Okay, you know, if you're just chunking away on those. Changing those sleep. So put the accent a little later or try jumping it up a little. One, two, three, four. Thanks for joining me and see you next time around.